Have you ever wondered how people in the Middle Ages perceived and conducted their sexual lives? The topic of sex in the Middle Ages is as intriguing as it is complex, shaped by societal norms, religious beliefs, and cultural practices. Today, we delve into this captivating aspect of history. In the early part of the Middle Ages, attitudes towards sexuality were largely dictated by Christian teachings. These teachings emphasized chastity, modesty, and procreation strictly within the confines of marriage. Sex outside of wedlock was viewed as a sinful act, punishable by law or at the very least social ostracism. But life, as it often does, found its way around these stringent norms. Instances of premarital sex, adultery and even prostitution were not unheard of, subtly challenging the established order. As we move further into the Middle Ages, marriage emerges as a crucial institution. It served multiple purposes, forming alliances, securing property rights, and ensuring the continuity of family lines. Within the marital bond, sexual relations primarily aimed at procreation. However, couples also sought intimacy and companionship, hinting at the human need for emotional connection. Women, unfortunately, often found themselves in subordinate roles, with limited autonomy over their bodies and desires. Gender roles in the Middle Ages were as rigid as they were defined. Men were the power holders, the decision makers, while women were expected to be obedient wives and devoted mothers. Masculinity was viewed through the lens of strength, virility and control over sexual urges. Femininity, on the other hand, was associated with purity, modesty and submission. One cannot discuss sex in the Middle Ages without acknowledging the significant role of religion. Christianity, in particular, played an instrumental part in shaping sexual behavior. The church was the moral compass, enforcing strict codes of conduct regarding sex. Clergy were expected to be celibate, and lay people were encouraged to practice abstinence outside of marriage. Confession and penance became tools for repenting sins related to sexual misconduct. As our journey through the sexual landscape of the Middle Ages concludes, we realize that it was a complex interplay of societal norms, religious beliefs, and individual desires. Despite the strict rules governing sexual behavior, people found ways to navigate these constraints through clandestine affairs, erotic literature, and subversive acts. By exploring the attitudes towards sex in medieval society, we gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of human sexuality throughout history and perhaps a better understanding of our own.